even though everybody heard why he couldn't. Can't imagine you'd find a teammate that would be surprised at his success. And he just put his nose down and did his thing at a high level. And that sounds really easy. He worked at it. He wasn't fast, he wasn't big, you know, he, he wasn't strong at the time. But his work ethic and ability to constantly think about training and his development is premier about him. I mean, he's scored at every level. He's led at every level. It's one of the greatest sports stories that uh, I hope culminates for him in the Stanley Cup. This is my hometown, Plover, Wisconsin. Spend my summers now in Madison, you know, so it's about an hour, 45 minute drive back. It's a good distance. You can make a couple day trips or come spend the night and see the family, catch up with friends. Being around my family, my mom and dad, brothers and sisters, the moral standard that they, they set for me is definitely a huge part of my character. The Pavelski family is deep rooted in this community. Joe's parents, Sandra and Mike, were born and raised in Plover. In this small town, Life is simple. Mike and I both grew up here, and neither of us ever moved anywhere else. You grew up gardening, canning your produce, hunting off the land. Joe's father ran the family painting and wallpaper business. During the busy summer months, Mike would take the kids out on the job. Yeah, I've been self-employed painting and wallpaper in 75. One of my first jobs was with my dad. You know, any kind of, whether it's sanding wood or staining some wood or, putting on the glue to the back of the wallpaper. To see him show up, go to work every day, set the tone, I think, with, with the foundation of my character. If you want to work hard, you will do it. I think some of the roots that have been laid in hockey it started in the driveway. We played all our games from basketball to ball hockey. He started playing around two-ish because we had an older brother, Jerry. Yeah, you were in skates pretty early. Every winter, the Pavelskis would transform their backyard into a hockey rink. Being around my brothers, you'd be hungry and you'd uh, be cold, and but you just never really felt it. You're just kind of in that zone and you just want to play because that's what kids do. And uh, that's your job is just to play. It was a pretty cool spot to shoot pucks and, and do your thing. The neighborhood just loved it because we were always doing something and your house was the place to go. It's definitely one area where you just know that that's where the love was started. First heading to the KB Willard Arena. It's uh, the rink that I grew up in. When I was a kid, I remember going down the stairs and doing a quick lap, see if there were any pucks shot over from the college team or the high school team. And we had a good high school team at Stevens Point. You go to these games and you're just amazed by how big these guys are, how fast they can skate, how hard they can shoot the puck. You don't know if you could ever get to that level. The very first time that I was able to go out to San Jose and watch Joe play, we had the opportunity to go out after the game and, and, and talk for a while. And Joe brought up an experience that he had when he was in sixth grade. Coach came in for uh, activity day. My guys worked with the kids that picked hockey. And I made some comment about only one in 10,000 kids ever makes it to the NHL. So you guys, be realistic, you know, you guys aren't gonna play in the NHL. I kind of remember just leaving that day being like, fuck. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it drove me, I don't know if it deterred me. Just, I, I knew I loved this game.
Yeah, when I was a young boy in my rolled up corduroys, not knowing what it was to seize the day. And now that I'm older and a little bit wiser, if I could talk to that boy, this is what I'd say. Yeah, I'd say run. 